It is in this vein today that we gather for that ceremonial recognition of the groundbreaking of our new plant sciences building. We'll try to do all of these very quickly and briefly, but to start, I've asked Scott Smith, our Associate Dean for Research, to come forward and make a few brief comments. And also will enhance the integration of basic biotechnological research and biological research with applied technology development, educational programs, and technology transfer. Two years from now, we expect to see more than 100 faculty, technicians, grad students, undergrads, postdoctoral scholars, visiting scientists working here. This will include both research teaching faculty and extension specialists and encompass three different departments, agronomy, plant pathology, and horticulture. Entering on the first floor, two years from now, you will find the labs and offices for forage research and applied crop production analysis. A suite of rooms for plant growth facilities will include containment uh, structures which will allow us for the first time to conduct efficient research on easily dispersed plant pathogens, uh, blue mold, for example. The second floor will be devoted to the to cause those diseases. The third floor will house an interdisciplinary team of plant breeders, geneticists, and molecular biologists working collectiv collectively to improve crop quality, productivity, and pest resistance. And we know that if, that if our farmers are to flourish, extensive plant, plant biotechnology research will be required to assist them in their efforts. And I was particularly pleased this morning to hear from our faculty uh, some of the kind of research efforts that are underway and to hear about some of the uh, alliances we have, arrangements we have with the private sector that are, that are helping us make this happen. This unique research will be greatly enhanced by this plant science building for which we are breaking ground today. But the reason for making that mention of our, of our research already underway is to remind you again that we've got some of the very best plant scientists in the world here at the University of Kentucky, and we're providing additional space for them. We're not creating plant science research, which we don't already have. We're simply making it possible for us to do more and do better that which we already are doing. This research facility will, will house state-of-the-art laboratories that will help our students and help our researchers as they contribute and they continue to achieve breakthroughs in biotechnology. It will also enable the College of Agriculture to continue to attract the very best and the very brightest students. And I'm glad to tell you that we are getting those already and this is simply another, another assistance in that effort. This addition would not be possible without these donations you're hearing about today. So, to those who represent the estate of, of Dr. Harry Wheeler, uh, to Star Scientific and their representatives who are here today, uh, to the Cameron Williams family and Mr. Williams, uh, I want to simply tell you how important private and corporate support is to this university. And we do need the support of our friends, and we appreciate the support of our friends. So I'm delighted to have all of you here and have you not only be willing to give us of your resources but to show up and tell us about it. We appreciate that very much. The Plant Science Building will dovetail nicely with existing projects that we have underway such as precision agriculture which will require certain kinds of plants and certain nutrients in certain areas and we're seeing some very good research in this state. But the impact of the research that will surely come from this new facility will not stop at our state's borders. It will enable our students and researchers to contribute greatly in this constant war against hunger for which there is no greater challenge facing the agriculture industry than producing and equitably distributing enough food to meet the needs of our rapidly expanding world population. There is not any shortage of the need for rapidly expanding our ability through agriculture to deal with the hunger problems in this world and those who who ever raise some question about the importance of agriculture need to constantly be reminded of that, in my opinion. And we've got a role to play in that right here in Kentucky. Clearly, the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture is performing research that will have practical applications for farmers, not only in Kentucky, but also throughout the world. This plant science building will be the cornerstone of that research. It's a recognition of that research. It's an opportunity for us to symbolically call attention to the research that's going on here at the University of Kentucky and to comment about the importance of it, both to this commonwealth and to the entire world. So to Dean Little, to all of you here this morning, I very much appreciate, one, your being here, and two, the support that you provide for this college and for the entire University of Kentucky. 
to the college, it means a great new place to do research and development that uh, the farmers in Kentucky need. Uh, I think that this facility is going to be the place where a lot of exciting developments happen, which will uh, ensure the profitability and the sustainability of Kentucky farming. A lot of times people envision research as labs and microscopes and test tubes, but it's a whole lot more than that, isn't it? Certainly in the plant sciences in the College of Agriculture, it's an awful lot more than that. In addition to the facilities that we'll have here, uh, this will be melded into work that's done on our research farms, on farms owned by uh, cooperators throughout the state. Uh, field facilities uh, all over the state of Kentucky contribute to the research programs in addition to the basic laboratories.